What is up, everybody? We are back again with another character reveal. This week, it's Steve. Um, yeah, so I saw the screenshot. It looks like Steve. Honestly, like, I don't know what to expect. Arcing the boxing archetype doesn't necessarily um, lend itself for extravagant moves, really, right? Uh, until you start introducing kicks, knees, and elbows, but I don't think they're going to do that for Steve. Um, so, yeah, the predictions... Like his bio said that he was trying to learn something new. So I'm thinking either he's going to fight Grimier or he has probably another stance to add his to add to his repertoire of 30 plus stances. Um, now for heat engagers, I'm hoping it's not back one because that would be like a character destruction move. Really? That's like an iconic thing for him to have that stun. So I'm thinking either down forward two, probably not. That's a, that's a weird move to animate into the heat dash. Um, Sonic Fang, I guess. Uh, three plus four two, which is that the spin punch. Um, maybe one of his sway punches. Um, I don't know to be honest. I, don't, I really don't know what to expect. Hopefully they make him interesting. He's one of those really boring archetypes. Um. So yeah, so let's hop right into it. Peggy 16. I'm really hopeful it's like at least entertaining. Because Steve is always one of those very dry characters. I'm hopeful though. Hopeful. Get ready for the next battle. Counter punching. Hold it. Oh, they did not touch his face at all. <laughs> he looks so odd. Okay, so that was a new start. Oh, okay, speaking of Arborics. Okay, so his extended forward 2 doesn't give a free hit. Okay, so that's... Back 2-1 does not Ballerina spin. And holy crap, that's a lot of hits up all. <laughs> I was not expecting that. Man, I don't know what they did. He just looks weird. So here. Okay. Back to the heat engager, correct? The smash. It's all right. Down four, two on hit. Does that knee stun? Oh. But he has a heat flinch. Oh, did he shimmy? It was like a new animation in there. It, it didn't look flicker. He did it kind of like a little foot shuffle, kind of like how he does in his that one taunt that he has. I want to see if I can find it because I saw it in the in the in the very beginning also, for like a very split second. Maybe that's a new stance they gave him, like a foot shuffle. Huh. That was fast though. That cancel must have been like instant. All right. Either way. So let me. I had such a weird trailer. It's like very underwhelming. There are a lot of little things that were added in there. That could be interesting. It would also throw a wrench as far as like a, a wrench into the Yoshi anti Steve game plan. But. Huh. Okay. So yeah, so let me hop in to resolve, do my quick little edits, and I'll catch you right back. Alright, so that looked like forward forward 2 got reanimated, and down forward 2 on counter hit does not stun like before, it does a knee stun now. And the massages are guaranteed, but also notice that King is standing during the massage punches. So the Shiro combo might be gone now. Okay, here we have like what looks like 3 plus 4, 2. So the Albatross 2, right? That guard breaks on block. And he gets a 1, 1, 2 for free, right? Albatross 2, guard break. 1, 1, 2 by the looks of it, free. Then extended duck forward 2 on block, which causes chip 
but does not give a free follow-up anymore. All right, so extended duck forward two. You get the blue spark, but you saw King moved, so he's able to block afterwards. All right, so here we get the duck two launcher into four one two, which causes the tornado. Four one two into that new punch, but look, he, he does a little shimmy. So four one two, weird little shimmy there, and before he does that new uppercut, and then he goes into the Sonic Fang. So it looks like he does have a new stance. Four one two tornado, shimmy into that uppercut. Hmm. And then Sonic Fang. Okay, so here he blocks the hop kick into back one two, which does not ballerina spin anymore. And then he does ducking one that hits that gives him a free follow up at the wall, which is a new string by the looks of it. Four two two one two one. Wow. That's a fast ass string. So back one two, no ballerina. Extend or oh, duck one, four two two one two one. Okay, and here we just have a special intro with Warang, and man, they gotta work on that voice. It's really really weird. All right, there we have the back one, the iconic back one. Still crumples on counter hit. Extended duck one, he burst into, what was that? So extended duck one, he burst. Two one, does that now? No, that, that looked like a two two again. And then peekaboo back two one. Right, extended duck one, he burst. It's a 2-2 two, two string, though. And then peekaboo. 2-1. Alright, so he blocks the back 3. Does back 2. On the hit, free Sonic Fang. And then into the Heat Smash. Which is mid, which is a good thing to see, right? Really? So he doesn't have a dance-based low Heat Smash. Back 2. Sonic Fang. Into mid heat smash, which looks all right. To be honest, it's nothing amazing. It just looks cool. I'm just surprised back two gives a free Sonic Fang. I guess they have to give him something, right? Because he just he doesn't necessarily have a 15 frame launcher. Okay, down forward two on counter hit into a new punch. I think, like, there was a shimmy that I was talking about before, right? So, uh, see? That weird little shimmy right after the counter hit down forward two. And then this heat clinch is kind of cool. I wonder if he has different versions, right? So, look at his feet. He does a little shimmy. That could be a stance. Like, that could also just be his, his animation that he does afterwards. But it's a legit stance. And then... The clinch throw is unbreakable because you see the spark and then there's a register sound in it. So it uses up heat. All right, so here we go. Watch down forward two and look at his feet. <laughs> he definitely shimmies there. So that punch is a shimmy attack. That's a cool idea. All right, so here, Steve was already in the heat. Yeah, so he does a shimmy. He definitely does a shimmy. So running two, heat dash. Okay, so that's a new extension off the forward two. So forward two, forward two, maybe? All right, so it's like forward two, and he leans again forward. And then he does a shimmy before the uppercut. And then he goes manual flicker, one, one, albatross, two. So he still has albatross like that. So maybe that initial punch at the beginning of the trailer was something entirely different. 
that looked like the Albatross spin? I wonder. I really want to get this game in my hands already. And then we're given the the Rage Art finale. Um, which is all right, I guess. It looks cool. It's, it's, it's boxing, man. Like you can't get too like wild with animations. It's boxing. It's all right, I guess. Like the overall and final thoughts. Like Steve's a Steve. Um, everything looks like it fits into his his archetype. Um. Now, I, I kind of was expecting guard breaks, maybe a couple more, because they gave Paul a bunch of them. So Steve should have gotten some, and it looks like he did. Um, I'm interested about that new stance. Like, is it really a shimmy stance, or is it just, like, a new animation for Flicker? No, because he did Flicker, like, at the very end, and it looked the same as before. So it could be a new stance. Um... Is it a manual input stance, or is it just an attack transition stance? I'm leaning more towards an attack transition stance. So moves that are available after a certain move, right? Um, but yeah, overall, it's Steve. It's all right. He, he, he looks boring still, but that's expected with this archetype. Um, I'm just much more excited now because we can pretty much guarantee what the order is of these reveals now. And they're going to be consistent on Wednesdays. So that's going to be great. Um, so yeah, guys, uh, if you liked the video, don't forget to like, uh, subscribe if you're not subscribed. I appreciate your time and take care. Bye-bye.